Also at the Capitol today, a protest demanding the resignation of the man leading the Department of Corrections. News 4's Taylor Mitchell was there. Prison reform protesters putting pressure on Governor Kevin Stitt Wednesday, asking for him to fire the Department of Corrections Director Stephen Harp and instead bring in outside resources to help get our prisons under control. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get emotional, but it's, uh, you know, when you don't know from day to day and you worry, it does, it takes a toll on you. Families of incarcerated Oklahomans are demanding the governor replace Director Harp. Since he took over, our prisons have gone downhill and they have gotten worse. And we have way more deaths since he's taken over. Get somebody in there that knows what they're doing. Outspoken Republican Representative J.J. Humphrey says he's fed up with the high number of deaths, rapes and stabbings in state lockups. Earlier this month, two inmates died at the Lawton prison. And fatal drug overdoses are a problem, too. Former Lexington Deputy Warden Tasha Parker was recently arrested for allegedly running a contraband smuggling operation out of her home on state property. When you hire people who have, know absolutely nothing, guess what? This is what you get. The thing about it is we're here to be heard, and I think they can't hear us. And if they don't, uh, one of the things that you can say about me is I'm tenacious. I don't give up. Once I bite in on something, I'm going to stay hung on. Protesters headed to the governor's office Wednesday, hoping to get his attention. You're supposed to governing the people of Oklahoma. That includes the 22,000 people that are incarcerated. Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. And Taylor reached out to the governor's office for a response. They, along with the Department of Corrections, declined to comment.